right, this topic is going to be, should porn be legalized? Um, I'm going to take the position that it should be. Miles is going to say that it shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, so, I think the government has a responsibility to restrict things that are going to harm people. Yeah, probably broadly agree, yeah. Yeah, and I think porn falls under that category. Okay. I think in the temporary, le- keeping things like alcohol, uh, social media, drugs, porn, legal, is probably a good uh, transitional path because it uh, decriminalizes a lot of the workers that probably shouldn't be in jail. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think long-term, these are societal ills that should be rooted out. Okay, so are you making a full argument that all of it should be rooted out, or just porn? Um, all of it, eventually. But we can talk about porn for really? the purposes of this conversation. Interesting. Yeah, I don't even really disagree that much. So you're saying, like, any any harmful adage to society should hope should, the government's responsibility should be to weed it out. Yes, but I think there should be a transitional period. Like, I don't think it makes sense to just ban something when people want it. Sure. I think that there should be a social shift, and then eventually it should be... Yeah, because I agree that, like, guns, for instance, is a hot-button hot issue, right? And um, a lot of Americans and Canadians um, want to see gun reform and more gun legislation in America, but the issue is America is so... has this insane gun culture, so it would just be... It'd be very difficult to do that, nearly impossible to mm-hmm. get rid of the guns, to get rid of the culture. Like, uh, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm a big fan of starting with culture and then moving to, towards legislation, okay. which is kind of illiberal. Like, I don't think I'm a, li- a liberal in a real way. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. It sounds, yeah, because you should, like, you do, agree, okay, well, then I'll ask you, do you agree in, like, tenets of freedom? Do you agree in tenets of, um, like, rights to, to, like, private property? Do you agree, like, that um, if you're doing something that isn't harming others? specifically others, then you should have the right to do those things? Um, I, I do. But I, I would be willing to get very abstract about what we're talking about when we say harming others. Okay. Like, I, th- I think um, pol- polluting... I don't want to sound like a fucking traditional conservative here, but I think, like, the pollution of society is to some extent ha- uh, a harm on others, okay. you know? And there are certain things, like... um. Religious conservatives will make these same arguments about stuff like gay marriage or transgender people about this stuff. I don't buy those arguments in the same way because I don't think those things have a negative effect on people in a vacuum. I think these things probably do because I think they're anti-human connection. Sure. Um, okay, well, yeah, I mean, if that's a fair point, but I think that, like, would you also be against, like, would you also be for, like, weeding out, like, video games? Like, you'd probably eventually be start to weeding out yeah. everything that makes a lot of people happy, you know? I, I think, on, like I think could, on a multi-hundred-year scale, yeah. But it, but I think what you're saying makes people so happy. It's like at, th- at that point? Um, like, a sort of a, tr- a post-technology, like, really traditional society. I, I'm comfortable with that. I like that in the long term. And when you say this stuff makes people happy, I think it's the same way that, like, drinking a really sugary beverage might make someone happy. Mm-hmm. Or doing a line of cocaine might make someone happy in the moment. But long term, these things are going to like really fuck people up. And I sure. think that's true for porn. Yeah. Do you think the government just ha- should have the right to dis- decide like what can like kind of ambiguously be harmful? So I'm not, I'm not a, a liberal, probably. But I, I'm like a small D Democrat. Like, I believe in democracy. Okay. So I would, I would so try to like build a movement. if the government got ousted, you'd be okay with that? Um, yes. Because I think that institution is more important than... Uh, the government's restriction of this stuff. Okay, but, let's get back to let's yeah. go back to the topic. So, um, you think porn should be um, illegal? Yes. Why do you think so? I think it has a negative effect on the viewers and probably on the uh, the performers as well. Okay. I was going to ask, what else do you think is harmful? But then we might just go into the same thing again. Um, I agree that there is harm caused from porn consumption um, to the users. You know, they get desensitized. They have difficulty creating real relationships, um, but then, and then also to, like, the potential suitors, you know, um, the potential people that you could have relationships with, they're getting um, kind of, like, they're losing the option, the, the, they're losing another option, because some, mm-hmm. like, some guy or a girl, much less uh, yeah. likely. I think we agree on all this. I think the real question at the core is, 
should people have the right to do things that hurt them? Yes. You think yes? Yeah. I. I don't. I don't. Think th- I, th- I, th- I don't think so. Why do? Why do you? Why do you think so? Because I'm a liberal. Why is that more important to you than uh, happiness? Yeah. Because I think that um, it feels like extremely authoritarian, like not from like a government perspective, but from like an even an individual perspective. Like, what rights do I have to tell you what you're allowed to do? If I think it's hurting you, that's my opinion. But what rights do I have to tell you you can't even do that? Like, I'm going to make it illegal for you to do that. If it's something that. But we do that about a ton of things, right? Like what? Like murder. You okay. Know? Do you think? Okay, so that's like that's different though. That's harming others. Mm-hmm. You know, the murder might make someone feel good, like a psychopath, but they're killing someone else. And why? Why is that the line for you? Because I think once you've left your own autonomy, mm-hmm. then that's where laws get created. And do, do you think things like uh, porn have no effect on other people if you watch it? Directly, no, they don't. Really? Yeah, no, no I don't think so. I feel like I just did. So directly, what do you mean by directly there? Um, I mean that, like, um, I guess you would say that, like, murder directly impacts the person being killed, right? Mm-hmm. But porn can, some, like, a porn user isn't directly harming anyone else. Look at it this way. Okay, suicide, right? That's not illegal. You probably don't think it should be illegal to kill yourself. Well, that would be, like, extremely difficult to... How would you even... Yeah, of course. But make it that's not the point, right? So, yeah. like, we say suicide. If you commit suicide, that has an effect on other people. Yeah. Is that directly affecting other people? Um, but it's an action you're only doing to yourself. That's, yeah. that's kind of what I'm talking about. It's not directly affecting them. It's okay. Well, I, that, I guess... the act of suicide is killing yourself... And the indirect effect is the emotional harm. Uh, the emotional harm. Sure. Call, and I would just, I would value the effect of that emotional harm. Like if someone kills themselves, yeah, I, I feel like well. that's affecting other I people. I feel like well. people would agree but with that. I don't that. think that matters more than the individual's right to do what they want to do. You know, obviously with caveat of you can't harm others, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that, it, I don't think it's very inconsistent on that. I think that if someone's doing something that makes them feel good, as long as it's not harming others... And as long as it's within the societal norm, like I do, I do like your idea that like we can weed it out and develop a new society. But I think as it is right now, porn is in society. People watch porn. I think people should not watch porn. I think porn is like bad for yourself, you know, mm. indirectly bad for others. But I think that's where the legality of it is difficult to implement. Mm. Do you believe in taxation? Yes. Why? Um, I believe that. And specifically, why does someone have a right to take away your freedom? In other words, like your money or your buying power. Well, do you think that you're taking away someone's freedom by taxing them? Yeah, of course. Oh. Uh, because you're saying you don't have control over what you're going to do with this money. Mm-hmm. I'm going to decide for you, right? Yeah. And I think, and I think, yeah. I think if there's a healthcare program or something that you want to fund through taxes, you'd be saying I'm okay with restricting someone's rights by seizing their income mm-hmm. because it's going to provide good for other people. Yeah. So why can't I apply that same argument and say, I'm going to restrict certain well, people's rights one, if it's going to provide good for other people? Because one of them is a negative right. You're taking something away from someone. You know, They're both negative no, rights. No, I know, but the difference is like making porn illegal mm-hmm. would be um, and like trying to reduce um, peripheral harm. It's right? the same as saying you don't have a right to this amount of your money. Yes. I, no, I agree. Yeah. But I think the difference is one thing is, to, is, um, one thing is like taxation is a positive so that you can... Like you can give it, you can give it to your government. Your government government can allocate the funds, and they can disperse it across the nation. And then, well, you can well, you can view it as a positive of you give it to your government, but like your government is taking that money. From yeah, no, I'm, no, no, I'm saying like the only point I'm making is, is you're not from... a libertarian, right? Yeah, like you don't want just absolute freedom. You no. believe that certain things should be restricted for yeah. the good of society. Mm-hmm. So, wh- wh- why do you draw this line well, here? Um, well, I mean, this might be like the appeal to like the society we live in right now, but taxation has been a part of our society for so long. Um, I think that there is like a little bit of duty to someone that lives within like a democratic liberal nation to give a part portion of your income, you know, um, to your government so your government can redistribute it properly. You know, I think that's a, like, that's a, and you think that should be mandated by the government? Yeah. So you're comfortable with government. I'm comfortable with taxation. I'm comfortable with the way that like majority of the world operates. So why are you not comfortable with the porn banning thing? Because you can't make an argument of, like, the state shouldn't have the power to take away certain rights from you to improve well, society. I, well, because I don't... What right are you taking away from someone by taxing them? What the ability to control what they do and with their what, income. What right is that? Uh, I, I don't know if there's a specific... Uh, like, like, a, like, within the U.S. Constitution. No, I, I guess then what right is, am I... 
And there's not also not a right to, to, yeah, watch, to watch porn. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. you can yeah. put these under broader things, I'm yeah. sure, you know. So you have the right to your own money just like you have the right to your own porn, right? Yeah. Um, the right to your fruits okay, of your well, labor, so then do you, you think say. that? Do you think that people should be taxed? Um, yeah, I'm totally comfortable with that. But I'm not the one who's saying that the government shouldn't have the ability to restrict your rights. Well, you're telling me the government should have the ability to restrict your rights. I agree. Rights, so I'm cool with taxation, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're cool with taxation. You're cool with pornography. So are you cool with any with any like government restriction? Like government should decide they want to restrict this and they will then do it? I think that if it became cl- if it becomes clear that the restriction of something is going to greatly benefit society, then mm-hmm. I'm comfortable with the government restricting that, provided yeah. that the culture is there. Additionally, then I'm also okay with governments l- having things be legal if it's clear that it's not a harm to society. As if we've determined that taxation is a benefit to society, then I think we're okay with that. Whereas porn, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of um, irregularity in whether or not porn is like detrimental enough to le- to uh, to make it illegal. You know, mm-hmm. I don't think it's reached that threshold yet. You don't believe so. So you, so you have an issue with this with the first part of the argument then that porn is actually having a negative effect on other people. No, I just don't think that it's to the point where um, like the law needs to be brought in. What would that point be for you? Um, it would probably be. Like a certain amount, it would have to do with like, let's say like the marriage rates or something. No, I don't like marriage actually. If if you had like the if you had like a computer or whatever that could observe like every individual and like see like what percentage of the population was dating and like pro- appropriating, you know, like as long as like the society is continuing forth, you know, then um, you think assault the, assault weapons should be banned? Assault weapons? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, like in principle, probably. What what and so you but. Would you support legislation that would do that today? Not in America, but not for that reason, just because I don't think it's an effective um, deterrent. What about like having a, a nuclear weapon as a, as a citizen in the Should US? a citizen have a nuclear weapon? Yeah. No. Why? Um, well, I mean... What, what computer do you have there that shows the negative outcomes of that? Well, All I'm saying is we have to be predictive sometimes, right? Yeah. Well, what, why shouldn't I... I don't think that like a... Because it's extremely hard to... Um, what's it called? To restrict like the individual acts of every single every single individual, you know. So like once they got like nuclear weapons, like who's to say what they would do with it? You know, there's like very observable, predictive, um, negative consequences from from like someone owning like a nuclear weapon, just like. Oh, there's not. Yeah. No citizen has ever owned a nuclear weapon. Exactly. How do we know what they do with it? Well, it's, that, it's a prediction. I know that. They yeah. So I'm it. predicting about porn as well. So I'm saying. Your porn and also, there is data on porn that shows it's it's negative for the users. No, I know that it's negative, but I'm saying the threshold hasn't been met yet. That like society has deemed it so bad that we do need to make it illegal. So what do you what do you feel about this? Like, if you had to give your best qualitative guess based on personal experience, you and other people, I feel that and data. I feel that I think you probably shouldn't watch porn. Yeah. Right. But I don't think that my feeling that you shouldn't, because it would make you a better person if you didn't, is enough to say that now no one has the right to watch it. So if I try to meet you halfway on this, and like we're not talking about law for a second, I, I think it would be beneficial for society to move towards temperance. Okay. Just like, I think that people have so many distractions nowadays that just keep them away from human connection and from fulfillment of their life. And some of them are drugs, some of them are more technology oriented. But I think that no one is so really you'd be dealing okay with, with like it. Getting rid of phones, getting rid, yeah. of, getting rid of vapes, getting rid of. You'd be okay with like. I think so. And honestly, if we had to do that by law now, it might be an uncomfortable fifty years. But I think we'd be in a better place after it. You know, I, I really believe that. I just think it's so illiberal that I wouldn't be able to get behind it. Mm-hmm. So would you say that you value liberalism more than you value happiness? Or do you just disagree I, that this will make people happier? No, I agree it would probably make people happier. I do disagree with that. It's cause like, so it, what's the point of your liberalism if it doesn't lead to a better society? Because I, I don't care. Because like, like, I think you're making like a like false dichotomy here. Like You're saying that like, if, like, you, if you like fully believe in like this liberal society, then like it's going to end up being like, – it's going to lead to like – a, like a horrible society. Well, you can disagree with that premise. And I'm just saying, like, when I'm building my ethical system, like, I'm trying to make the best world possible, right? Sure. And so these views are emergent of that. And so either you think that your yeah, system I is would, going to get there easier. I think easier. my world is better because mm-hmm. people are allowed more, are granted more autonomy. I don't think that better necessarily means that, like, we've removed every single harmful agent 
to you or to others, you know. So are you defining better as more liberal? And um, that's why you support liberal? Because that seems not, pretty circular no, not there. necessarily. I'm just saying that, like, I think happiness is a portion, is a part of a good society, a better society. But I also think that a portion of it as well is being liberal. So I think that, like, you start to infringe upon the betterness. That's just so circular, though, right? What, what's the issue with that? Uh, well, the issue is that you can never be have your mind changed out of it, right? I, well, yeah, probably not. Okay. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. But I was trying to get into the um, into the the porn thing. It's like, yeah, I agree. People probably shouldn't watch porn. But it's like the same position that I have on like, um, well, it's just my position on how I feel about porn, like porn illegality. If they made it illegal, I wouldn't go out there and protest. I'd probably be like, okay, yeah, they made it illegal. I kind of disagree with that. But I think that it does probably benefit society. Mm. But I don't think it's my right nor the government's right to decide that as much. <clears throat> Can I be honest with you? Sure. And this might not play well for the debate, but I feel like I should just be straight up here. I don't know if I would, at the end of the day, actually ban these things. Because I do agree with a lot of the liberal arguments that you're saying. I just feel like it's important for people to be representing that side. Because I'm really concerned with how a lot of the political movements they don't seem to be addressing these issues at all. Yeah. Like, it seems like freedom is just the most important thing above anything else. And people are forgetting why they care well, about yeah. freedom. I mean, it does feel like that, especially on the right. Um, on the left, it feels like they're more okay with infringing upon your freedom. But it feels like infringing upon your freedom in ways that I don't agree with. You know, like, I think that your point is valid. That, like, infringing upon your freedom to, um, like, to decrease the harm is probably a good thing. You know, like, yeah. I don't have a strong argument against that, right? But I think that something that the left kind of does sometimes is like restricts people's freedom from like going into like certain areas like that uh, you're like you know like, like free speech or, you know like there's yeah. like things that they infringe upon which i disagree with i don't think that nets to a better to a less harmful society mm. whereas i agree that like it is valid it is valid you know like you probably will see more or less harm from porn being banned you know people are going to go back out and date more people are going to like not be so like mostly men it's mostly a male issue you know, it, yeah, they won't be desensitized to like real women. Dude, I think I think the right has just become a bunch of assholes who want to turn the society back to the fifties, and then the left are just like hedonists. Like they they want legal porn, they want legal drugs, and it's like, why do you? And I I understand the freedom argument, I really do. Like I don't want to put someone in jail for smoking weed or for being a, a porn star, but it's like. Can, can we say we're accepting of all people, we, we like diversity, we want a social safety net, we want to respect all religions and sexualities and, and, and everything like that, but then also say, it's probably a good idea if we're not doing drugs every day and watching porn all the time. Yeah, we should be able to say that. Like, I, I want to be able to bridge that gap, you know? And it's not, it's not a thing on the left right now. No one's saying that. Yeah, and I think that's what's a little bit unfortunate, because I think that porn addiction plagues all people, irregardless of political um, affiliation. Obviously, you're probably a little less likely to watch porn if you're right-wing, just because with, like, the addition of religion. I bet all of these guys watch it in secret, That's what I mean. Like, it probably affects everyone. And so I think that's interesting that, like, the political stance is against porn, let's remove it, but you probably also watch it. And then the left stance is like, this is a good thing, people are able to do what they want but probably aren't acknowledging what porn has done to them, you know, to, like, to their detriment. Yeah, there seems to be an equivalence there of, like, this should be free, and then they make the jump to, therefore, it is good. Yeah, and that's where I kind of like my stance. It's like, personally, I think porn's not that great. But I'm not in a governmental role. I don't think it's my job to decide whether or not, like, something should be illegal, right? Mm. But if it became illegal, I maybe, like, would be, like, a little, like, damn, you're really taking away my freedom to watch porn, but it's also probably a good thing if people stop watching porn. Yeah. And I'm kind of okay with that. Cool. Well, I think this was a, a good back and forth. I'm glad we got into some ethical stuff there. Yeah. Um, comment down below who won. Uh, loser, what? Um, Scalding hot water poured over them. Loser, I don't know. Beaten with a baseball bat. Something. To Here, death. Comment if you even got to this point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then suggest some punishment. Suggest yeah. the punishment if you actually got here. All right. Thanks for watching. Great.